Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi missing on Windows 10. First thing you'll notice in the lower right corner, Wi-Fi icon is missing. Here I only have a calendar. Okay, first thing we're going to do is click on the start button, then simply start typing settings. Okay, now just press enter and on the next view, go to the button that says network and internet Wi-Fi airplane mode VPN. So here I have my Wi-Fi working and you can see the Wi-Fi button on the left hand side. But if your Wi-Fi is disconnected or not working properly, you'll see this screen saying not connected in red letters and the Wi-Fi button is missing from the left hand side navigation bar. Now in this quick troubleshooting guide, we're going to go through several steps to fix the missing Wi-Fi problem. Now let's go back to the start button and start typing CMD. Now don't press enter or click on the open button. Instead, click on run as administrator. That's important. Okay. On this command line, type ping space one to seven dot one dot one dot one and press enter now if this is the output you're getting this means there are no problems with your hardware and if it's working correctly at the hardware level we need to go to the next step now it's safe to close or minimize this window now let's go back to the start button and start typing services.msc. Again, it's services.msc and just press enter. Okay, on this window that will show up. First, I'm going to maximize it. Click on any of the service names and start typing WL. Now your cursor will jump to WLAN auto config. So just right click on it if it's stopped, make sure to click on start. Mine is already started, so I don't have to do that. Now, right click on it again and go to properties. Okay. And here under start type drop down, make sure it says automatic. Now select automatic and click apply and click OK. Now you can restart your computer and see if it's working now. Okay. I'm going to close this and we're going to try something else if your Wi-Fi is still not showing up or not working. Right click on the start button and press run. Now in this box that shows up, start typing inetcpl.cpl and press enter. Okay, on this new window that shows up, in upper right corner, you want to go to advanced tab. Here, click on restore advanced settings and click apply. And then click OK. Now, once this is done, we're going to go to the next step and that is updating the driver. Let's go and right click the start button again. And here let's go to device manager. Now on the device manager window, double click on network adapters. Now you might have a slightly different adapter than me, but mine is Realtek wireless network adapter. You'll have something similar saying Wi-Fi. So right click on that and go to update driver. In this next window, click on search automatically for drivers. Now, if you get this screen, the best drivers for your device are already installed, then you don't have to do anything. Just go ahead and click on the close button here. Now in the next step, we're going to right click on the same Wi-Fi adapter but this time go to the second option, browse my computer for drivers. And at the bottom here, click on, let me pick from a list of drivers. So it's going to show you a list of previous drivers that worked. You might want to select an earlier driver from here and click the next button to go back to that driver. Doing that might fix the missing Wi-Fi issue and you'll start seeing the Wi-Fi icon in lower right corner. If your Wi-Fi is still not showing up, we're going to go to the next step. Let's right click on the start button again and click settings. Now on this window, go to network and internet. 
Now, if it's still saying Wi-Fi is not connected, scroll down to where it says network reset. Now, when you press this reset now button, your PC will be restarted and this option will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and then set other networking components back to their original settings. So once you click on the reset now button, your computer will restart. Now, if your Wi-Fi icon is still missing, well, just go to the next step. Let's close this window. Now, let's go back and click on the Start button and type CMD. And again, it's important to press Run as administrator option instead of just opening. Now, here in the command prompt on the command line, we're going to type netsh space winsock space reset press enter and it will say it's been successfully reset and you must restart computer in order to complete the reset now don't restart your computer yet we're going to enter the second command first net sh space int space ip space reset space log dot txt now press enter and it will say resetting OK multiple times. Restart computer to complete this action. So just go ahead and restart your computer and see if your Wi-Fi is working now. But if not, we're going to move to the next and last step in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click on the Start button again. Start typing msconfig. Then you can press either run as administrator or open. Now on this window, go to the services tab. Now click on the disable all button here in the lower right corner and then click enable all. Now click on apply button and OK button. Now restart your computer and see if it's working or not. Now I'm not a PC technician or a troubleshooter but if all possible software solutions have been exhausted for addressing the Wi-Fi is not showing up or Wi-Fi is not connected error on the Windows 10, it would be essential to start looking at the hardware side of the problem. One of the possibilities is that the wireless card or adapter inside the PC might be faulty. Wireless cards and adapters can occasionally fail and when they do, the operating system will not be able to establish a connection with the Wi-Fi network. One thing you can try if you have another computer is to test the Wi-Fi card on a different PC and see if it's working there. If it's an old computer, you might want to consider buying a new Wi-Fi card 